Section 2 of the Health and Safety at Work Act places a legal responsibility on employers to ensure, so far as is reasonably practicable, the health, safety and welfare at work of all his employees. So this means that employers have a legal responsibility to look after their staff, making sure they are safe. So as employers must legally provide policy statements, risk assessments, procedures detailing what to do in conflict situations, procedures to check and review safety precautions, appropriate training, a safe working environment, safe working practices, support for concerns about abuse and aggression, and support following violent incidents. So employees are not exempt from the Health and Safety at Work Act. So employees include any subcontractors, freelancers, and also have responsibilities under the legislation. So Section 7 of the Act states that it, an employee must take reasonable care for the health and safety of himself and any other persons who may be affected by his or her acts or omissions at work. So basically this means that it's not about what you do, but also what you don't do. So this can be simply operating outside of your role or failing to carry out a duty of your role. At the end of the day, the Act is there to prevent people from getting hurt and to minimise the potential injury if they do get hurt. Employees must familiarize themselves with the organization's policies and procedures and follow them, be aware of what might trigger a risk situation, be prepared to gather, share, and discuss information on risk situations, continuous improvement and learning from mistakes, attend appropriate behavior, training seminars, and this could be compulsory training such as health and safety, customer service, and conflict resolution. You also use risk assessment systems. You need to follow the method statements and plan with others what to do in risk situations. And they also need to report violent incidents in the workplace correctly.